Hey, what's going on folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Hell. Today I've got this 01 uh, Ford Escape with the 3.0 in it and it's got a clogged up catalytic converter and I wanted to show you how I discovered that and figured it out. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it up and let you listen to it and see how it's running. Alright, so I got it running for you and uh, unfortunately I didn't bring my vacuum gauge with me today but I hooked up the vacuum gauge to the uh, uh, one of the lines going off the intake here and at idle it had about 12 inches of vacuum just off idle i'm going to rev it like this it's actually worse than this yesterday the uh, chunks of the catalytic converter moved around and it's actually breathing better than it was but whenever i revved it up it held it right about there and you can hear you can hear it doesn't sound right when i held it up about right there the vacuum went down to zero and it stayed at zero and it never recuperated and went back up so right off the bat i suspected i had a clog in the uh, exhaust system so i proceeded to take out one of my o2 sensors and uh, let it run to see how it ran after that to see if it would alleviate the clog okay so this is the o2 sensor i'm going to take out this is just after the front catalytic converter on uh, this side here and on the back side there's another catalytic converter uh, for the back head and then there's even another catalytic converter converter further down uh, on the exhaust pipe there so that's where I suspect my clog is on the one back there so I'm going to take this O2 sensor out and then run it and see what we got all right so I got the O2 sensor out and by the way whenever you do this hot hot exhaust gas is going to come out with a good amount of force so make sure there's nothing meltable uh, that's within the uh, the range of that exhaust gas that can come out of that port there I'm not going to let it run very long I'm just going to let it run just long enough so that you can see that it runs well with that uh, O2 sensor taken out all right so I got it out you can see that it's much louder than it was before but immediately you'll see that it's more responsive idling more smoothly and whenever I rev it up it's actually going to rev up and it's not going to bog down. That was the rev limiter right there but so there's no exhaust restriction right now with that O2 sensor taken out. So what you would see on your vacuum gauge there with that O2 sensor out is you would see normal vacuum readings probably 18 to 20 inches of mercury and when you rev it up uh, the the vacuum will go down just a little bit but immediately it'll come right back up i'm going to take the uh the catalytic converter loose or the uh, flange loose just before that back cat and we're going to look up in there and see what we can find so here we are uh the o2 sensor that i took out is way up there where the engine is and this is uh the back cat here or the start of it this is the back cat and as you can see I've got that flange separated and I've got all of that uh, catalytic converter material right there and actually I suspect that the front ones are coming apart I didn't see anything on the top of the catalytic converter the or the uh, the catalysts on each of those front catalytic converters but uh, the bottom may have came out of them and traveled downstream here and I suspect that's probably what happened. So you see all that honeycomb material there? That is just plumb clogging up the exhaust system. Let's see if I can get this off the rest of the way here. So I got it out and all of that fell out right there. You see some of these, like this one right here, it's melted down so yeah, I think that actually came from the front and traveled back. So, uh, yeah, she needs cat converters. So, anyway, uh, I really hope that this uh, video helped you. Uh, please read the entire description of this video before you uh, apply any of this knowledge. There's more very important information that you need to know in there. Uh, so, read that fully before you, like I said, apply this information here. Uh, if it was a help, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.